<laughs> They've seen pictures in books, but when they know they're seeing the real thing live, They've seen pictures in books, but when they know they're seeing the real thing live, it really uh, stuns people. It's almost a billion miles away. At light speed, you're seeing what was there an hour and a half ago, not now. Yeah. Pretty awesome. So you're looking I back in time. I didn't see the brown, sure. I didn't see brown rings. Yeah. Well, there's not colorations. It's, like it's, it's, it's mostly go golden, white, yellowish. Okay. But you can see a division in the rings called the Cini division. If you look at the outer fat ends of the rings, there's a little dark line, like a break in a record, blank record gap on a vinyl record. See the outer thick ends. What did they just crash in? That's it. They're going to, yeah, uh, next month. It's, it's not done yet. It's a well, the Juno the Jun the Jun the mission is at Jupiter, and then they're going to drop that in in another 20 cool? months, I think, into Jupiter's yeah, cloud. That's a little crush it. Oh, yeah, the last there it is. Going down. It is. Isn't there one that just went through the ranks? It. it is. That's the Cassini mission. It's Saturn. And that's going to go down into the atmosphere uh, next month. And it'll destroy that craft, too. It's going to be crushed by the, the pressure of the atmosphere. My aunt, you should see a, a white so dot that's surrounded by weeks rings. or months ago. Yeah, I did it's fly through the rings. Small. So what's it doing now? Well, it didn't go actually through the rings. It went through the gap that's okay. between the ring and the planet. It didn't go through the thickness of the rings. It would have destroyed it. Do you see it in there, It's like a thick dust of rocks and pebbles. So what's it doing now? Maybe it's still... It's still flying. It's still in orbit around the planet. It's going to go down to Saturn into its... Do you see it? you really think you can discern that? Okay, let me see. It's going to go down... opening in between the rings. You know, I haven't checked in the last few days, sir. I don't... I've been so busy doing other things with the sun and the, taking pictures of the solar eclipse. Um, astronomers don't always keep up with everything that's going on in the entire you see it, universal yeah. community you because we're specialized. You're gonna wiggle your wiggle your eye. Like I did nothing but solar see it. It's for like a years. It's white and small. Out on the street. It's a white dot with like uh, oval you can, you, rings I, I, on I, it. You mean the, the website? Yeah. yeah. You can you can link to my look at like what I, all I do with the public and this kind of thing. And, oh, you yeah? see it? And I'm doing so much of this. I haven't I got time to go read about the news this day every day. Somebody asked me tonight if I seen a movie called Inception. It might have moved or something. Yeah. Um, I can't see it anymore either. <laughs> no, I think I could. It's yeah, it's yeah. moved. It's, we'll have to realign it. But did anybody not see the moon yet? Has everybody seen Saturn already? They didn't see it. She didn't oh, you didn't see it. Okay. I'll let you see it. No, I'll put it back on the moon because I want to take a picture of the moon through the scope and I want to show you how I do that with the camera. So let me just let this young lady see Saturn. And anybody else that hasn't, go ahead and look. I'd like her to look at it again because I'm not sure she saw it each time because she's straining to get up in such a high IP session. Maybe just because I'm a kiddo. You're what? A what? You're a kid. Yeah. It. It's just because you're a kid. It's just because your eyeballs aren't big enough. She's yet. great. That's a science. That seems sciencey. <laughs> She's kind of great. <laughs> Don't tell your dad. It looks because your your eyeballs are so small. Oh no! Perfectly <laughs> <laughs> focused. I'm so embarrassed. I'm okay, so I checked the focus again. Now, you, if you look closely. You'll see the Cassini division in the edge of the ring. It's like a little gap for the outer edge. Like when you look at a vinyl record in between the songs, there's little blank lines. Yeah. It's a dark oh, yeah. blank line toward the outer edge of the ring. There are actually many. I can't see. Okay. I can't see it. It's not even really a division, it's a dark material they found out. No, no, okay, the Italian astronomer Cassini thought in this <laughs> mid late 1600s <laughs> that it was okay. a division. So it, Sorry, it took I on the name of the Cassini um, division, but actually now it's known as a dark yeah. material. Let's be cool. Let's do deep breathing in a second. Yeah, the rings have. Well, she's not seeing it either, actually. Oh, I see no, it. No, I can see it. <laughs> You see it, Breeze? Yeah, I see it. Has your life changed forever? No, it's really, I mean, yes. Uh, <laughs> wow, that is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. All right. Could you see it that time? I saw it. Maya, let's try it one more time. How would you describe it to someone who's never seen it before? Um, a little Compared to pictures tiny and books. Saturn mm -hmm. that is all but, white. But you can yeah. see the details on the yeah. surface? There's cloud belts Maya, there on the surface, like, stripes. If you look again, look again, just give your eyes a few seconds because the atmosphere is wavering in and out of focus. Every few seconds you'll see it snap into focus and you'll see stripes across the planet. Kind of brown, faint stripes in line with the rings. There's a shadow under the ring cast on the planet. And there's a shadow on the back of the ring or on the back of the planet where it goes. It looks like it's disconnected. The planet casts a shadow back on the rings. So all these little details are there if you look for them. Yeah. If it's in fine detail, if it's in fine focus. It actually helps to be seated too. That's why the chair is there. You'll actually see much more detail. If you, the, mo the line astronomers use is the more you look, the more you'll see. But the first thing astronomy teaches is patience and humility. 
No. Can you imagine not watching television for 40 years and just doing this every night? I've not watched television for 40 years. I've acted in more TV shows here locally and movies than I've ever been in theaters in the last 10 years. I don't go to watch Hollywood movies or theaters. So I, I, I watch anything. pieces of old class. Oh, it's, it's moved out again. You can stay there. It's just drifting. Oh, really? Yeah, it's moving. Yes, yeah, actually, because we're moving. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I've spent more time in acting on oh, movies and TV shows than I've watched television the yeah. in the last 40 years. Some neighbors gave me a shortwave radio when I was about 11. Because after Saturn, we're and I started like listening ghosts. to it. They're not I had no interest in watching television anymore. It was, and the shortwave radio only had stations from around the world broadcast in foreign languages. And then one night, I accidentally picked up an English language station. I bet you can't guess what it was. It didn't sound like Americans. These guys spoke very astute, and they said, "Tonight we'll be talking about the Americans and what's wrong with the Americans." I thought, wow, these people know about us, more about us than we do. I was amazed as an 11-year-old kid. I didn't want to go out and watch the Beverly Hillbillies or the Adams Family. That's really cool. yeah. Whatever it was, Bewitched. I thought Bewitched yeah. was great because yeah, it was with Montgomery. gorgeous. And then there was a dark version of Elizabeth Montgomery I never knew. My dad said one evening, Mark, I want you to come out and watch this new TV show tonight. These, old, these older people probably know what I'm talking about. Like only a couple of them. It's called The Avengers, and it's from England. And when I saw Emma Peel in that black light, I just, as a 11 and a half year old boy, I just thought, wow. Have you ever seen a woman actress like that, all in black light? Have you ever seen The Avengers, the original? No, I never have. Oh, it's on YouTube. You can just look it up and watch it. It's, it makes American TV seem banal. It's just so much more classy acting and the music and everything. Isn't that strange? You guys have seen the, you guys have seen the TV show The Avengers back in the 60s? With Emma Peel and the Black Lycra and John Steed. Yeah, I think so. You remember that? No. I don't <laughs> really know. I don't. Well, it's a they big hit. Today it's a huge nostalgic retro hit because it's just well, so much better acting than American TV. It's kind of like Mission Impossible or oh, The Man the from Avengers. Uncle. But yes, the British yeah, couple. Yes, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the, the middle aged man, the young, beautiful yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah. Have you right. seen? He just passed away. Yeah. Right. Just but like this last year. Did, you, did anybody not see the moon yet? I haven't seen the moon. Is Saturn still in there? It's probably drifted out no, again. No, it's there. Totally is it? It's yeah. probably way down to it's, the lower left. It's yeah. over here. Oh, is it really? Somebody yeah. realigned it. Somebody who knew what he was doing realigned it. This gentleman realigned it. That's great. Wow. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Can you see the rings okay? Yeah, yeah. You can see stripes across the planet. Do you have any idea what... They're behind the trees right now. Oh, yeah, I see it every what night. Yeah. Oh, they're UFOs or something. Because there, 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 there were three of us. There's planes coming in. They're coming straight to the port of white path. But, the they're not, uh, but they're not moving. Isn't that cool? Moving. Because they're coming yeah, right out of cool. They're coming directly out of the airplanes and landing lights. Um, it stuns everybody out there. I've been there for years. So everybody asks me the same question. You, in the next 10, 20 minutes, you'll see them out of the top. They're about a good 10 miles out of the landing lights. Yeah, they're airplanes. Big jet liners. I know. It stuns people. Everybody asks me, are those UFOs? They've been there like that forever. But I knew there wouldn't be UFOs, but... <laughs> let's put the camera on it and show people, because they probably hear us talking about it now. There they are, look at that. Those lights are going nowhere, folks. They're just and Now the camera's trying to autofocus on these dim lights. And I can't up the ISO while it's in video mode. We'll just zoom out again to show people how distant it is. Looking down the road here in the park, here comes more potential viewers. Way down there. Off to the left, but those things in the middle there, folks, are airliners coming with their landing lights on. Anyway, there. So you haven't seen the moon yet? Nope. All right. So I'm going to point to the moon, and then I'm going to probably wrap it up. I'll let you guys look at the moon if you haven't seen it. I've got to change the idea. And uh, this always blows people away. It's, it's, I wanted to take shots with the camera before it gets too low. As the other gentleman asked, why did I not point it at Jupiter? There's Jupiter going down right now over the west of the sea. It's just not, it's not worth looking at when it's that low. Just distorted. And the moon will even be distorted. Oh, really? And I'll show you something here real quick. We're going to... I am. Did you see it earlier? Yeah, I want to see it again. Okay, you can see it again. I have to. I have to just focus it real quick, though. All right, one second here. I'm actually going to. Well, she's. Are you lining up on the moon again? Yes, I am. Wow, this is a well-disciplined child. I don't know if I should say that in front of her. Over and over and over. And then maybe. When and she's just so patient. Like, so maybe just you know maybe again. <laughs>
they said. I've had some kids. Let's rethink this. Yeah. Scream. Yeah. Like, is this negotiable? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's exact. It's the first, and I actually it's exhausting. Um, but it's also. Well, if you look. I can be like, don't, or like, you want to talk with me about it. If you look where it looks like it's dark, let me see. Okay. Yeah. And it looks like it's dark from a lower part. That is her first. I see it. But you can see some dark gray light on the part that doesn't have sunlight on. Do you see that? No. It's called earth shine. I see, I see, I see the moon. Mm -hmm. um, 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 and 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 the shade and the the part that's um, and and the part that's and the moon. You see, what do you see? Um, the, um, the moon and the moon and the air part being covered. Yeah. Okay, whose turn is it? It's Bruce's <laughs> turn. My turn. My turn. Okay, your turn. Oh. I am in your way now with the camera. Amazing. Do you see the covering part of the moon? I do see the covering part. Yeah, I saw it too. The lower part's <laughs> unlit. It appears to be unlit, but it's actually earth shine from the Earth's ocean lighting on it. And it, it creates that dark gray light we see in the unlit portion. So it gives it more three dimensionality when you see that in the scope, even. My son had a thought that have they ever photographed the dark side of the moon during an eclipse so they can actually see what the dark yeah, side of the moon is? Yeah, there's a lot of those photos all over the web in the last uh, week. I think I might even have it in my photos. Oh, but um, they've done it a long time ago. Oh, yeah, it's been, when you say the dark side of the moon, I mean, this, the dark, the unlit side facing us during the eclipse yeah. of the sun, yeah. Right. It's easy. There's so much light on it from the earth shine. It lights it up. If you turn a camera's eye so way up and expose a little longer, the eclipse uh, corona goes way overblown in light, but the, it starts showing the dark side, okay. unlit side. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of photos all over the web. All right, the, I've been reprocessing yeah. mine over and over the last few days. It's probably gone down a little bit. You, should, you might have to lower the scope just a bit. Okay. Yeah, I was going to let you see something. I'm going I'm to turn the camera off in a minute here and just. I should have another camera going and use a different one to, to, to let you guys see it through the back of the camera because it magnifies it even more, the motion. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really cool to see it in the, the camera back live. And I've done, I've done hundreds or thousands of photos of it through the scope. And, wow. So what you guys will see if, 